Hello and welcome back. I'm going to continue on with the Unity tutorials this week and we're going to take a look at something um, I've been looking at which I've actually been sitting on for a while actually and uh, I created this model, this 3D environment. Um, oh, it must be about six years ago now, maybe even longer. I'm um, focused on the, the Breaking Bad lab um, that sees Jesse and Walter doing kind of nefarious activities in here. I thought it was a really cool location and I made it in 3D and I never really used it for anything. So I thought it'd be good to use it, have a look at it in VR uh, and see if we can tie it into some of our tutorials. So we're gonna be looking at creating uh, a VR game, just a small one from scratch using Unity 2021.2. Uh, and going over some of the features of the XR Interaction Toolkit and then also looking at how we can utilize other plugins from the Asset Store that will also allow you to very quickly prototype your VR game. So first of all, let's get Unity ready for some VR. So we're going to go to Window Package Manager and we're going to get our Package Manager up and we're going to go, same as before, Advanced Project Settings Enable pre-release packages, yeah, cool. All well, that makes a difference at the minute in this particular version of Unity anyway. We're gonna to go to Unity Registry and we're gonna scroll all the way down to XR Plugin Management. Let's have some of that. And then once we've got that installed, we're gonna need our tried and tested, trusty old XR Interaction Toolkit. You'll notice we enabled our preview packages and we still don't actually see any of the preview packages in this build of Unity and there's some reasons for that that are on their website, blah blah. But we are actually going to still need it even though we can't get it, but you can easily access it by clicking on the plus and go add package by name, com.unity.xr.interaction and then dot toolkit. And then it's going to add it using the name. And then after what feels like forever, you get the XR Interaction Toolkit installed still going any minute now and then it asks you about the new input system we're going to say yes because we're ballers and i made a backup go ahead because we're liars and when that's finally finished uh, we can go back to the xr interaction toolkit click on the samples and we want the default impactions and then we can shut this down let's go to file build settings player settings and we're going to dock these over on the side like so there's that and then we're going to go down to xr plugin management uh, and under my windows setting i'm going to tick oculus and on android for the quest we can tick oculus as well and then we're almost there and then navigate in your project to your samples that you just downloaded and installed samples xr interaction toolkit 2.00 pre-6 click on the folder then find you want to find the, uh, the the default right controller preset and you want to click on add to action based controller default and do the same one for the left controller like so back in the project settings where we have our preset manager we can go in and we can type left for the left one and right for the right one and then when we create our XR rig, it's going to automatically populate all the actions by itself. We don't have to do it, which is kind of cool. Phew! So that took a little bit of work, but we I think we are pretty much ready now to go and create our XR rig, which um, the name has changed over the course of the XR Interaction Toolkit package and the various versions. But at the moment, you can right click and you can go to XR and we want to choose our XR origin uh, and that's going to put it in the middle of the scene and we're just going to go zero, zero, zero for a minute and change the tracking origin mode to floor and let's now move it to where we want to be we want a nice area that's cool when we start our game up so maybe in the corner over here and when it starts up we should be able to see all of this so, so far we've used Unity 2021, we've installed the XR Interaction Toolkit um, by name and then we've looked at adding in the presets for the input actions and we've looked at creating our first uh, XR camera. One thing we also need to do because we're using the action based system is 
actually activate those actions and to do that you need to put the input action manager on um, any game object in the scene but I always just tend to use it on the input interaction manager and then when you've got the action assets we want to go ahead and put one click on the little circle and you've only got one thing to choose it's the XRI default input actions which we're going to drop in there that's just going to activate the controllers start the headset tracking off so there's nothing new here I mean most of that you can probably pick up from my previous videos it's just that the interaction toolkit keeps changing all the time um, which is great for me because I get to make new content but very frustrating because all of the previous videos that I've done um, it, it alters a little bit and people get confused and rightly so but I'll keep the videos coming and showing you how you can use the XR interaction toolkit we're gonna build up on this one over the next few videos but this is just kind of like the setup uh, and you can also grab the environment from my patreon page um, the, the whole unity project will be up there um, if you want to join along with this particular environment or you can go ahead and make your own I'm gonna try and make it as uh, open as possible so you don't necessarily need to have this environment but what we're gonna to look to do is just initially be able to teleport around your environment so we can use the teleporter we can in the next one we're gonna be able to bring in our hands uh, and then just incorporate the teleport activity so you can just go around the lab looking around the cool 3d model uh, and also add in the ability to probably pick some up pick some of these glass beakers up as well but I think I'm a bit a bit of a moron and I think these are all one mesh yes we don't talk about that so let's have a quick jump into VR and just double check that our setup is working so here we go Put my VR hat on let's go and press play here we go ah sweet that oh, looks ace right okay so we're all up and running what is this dangling in front of my face so this will be cool so then we can grab our controllers which should be where are they she'll be being tracked and there we go at the moment we've got no teleport activity and we can't grab things there's nothing set up in the scene but this is just a setup and the next one we can get in a bit more detail activate the teleporters when we use our thumbsticks using the XR interaction toolkit so in the next one we'll get our hands in and then we'll start teleporting.